is a bubble. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vampire Diaries. Today we'll be watching episode 20, Blood Brothers. So episode 19 has been a quite a big revelation that Stefan cannot control his desire to rip humans apart and just feed on blood. So this is very exciting in terms of the story plot, but I'm also very, very sad that Stefan is also doubting himself and now turning out to be the bad brother as he claims it to be but I don't think that that he can be classified as a bad brother it's just that it was so unfortunate that he had to uh, feed on Elena's blood at that very desperate time and now it's just taking a toll for what he has learned to control all these years and it's just gone like in a matter of episodes so I feel for the guy but now I'm very excited to see what episode 20 is because now we only have two more episodes right after this so I hope it's a great finale because I'm very excited to continue on that journey. And yeah, let's just get right to the episode. I hope you all have been enjoying the reactions. Over here, there's another one. Quick, help me. On yourselves. This is also when they get shot down because I remember this saying. Oh, there you go. Oh. Is this how they get turned? Oh, symbolism. Wow, I love that, that like the parallel storytelling. Damn. I couldn't have him running around chewing on people while the town was looking for vampires. How could I? Wow, look at you. <laughs> Your thing, not mine. Tough exterior, but I know he's a softy in the heart. Catherine had me make that for you weeks ago. Where am I? The quarry, just north of town. My brother and I brought you here last night. We found you dead in the woods. You had Catherine's blood in your system when you died. No, I never... She's been compelling you to drink it for weeks, Stefan. I think in a way Catherine protected, like, wanted to protect them? I don't know. Maybe in the case of them being discovered and all. I went to the church and I watched them drag her inside. Then they set fire to it. And the whole church went up in the flames. Mm, don't worry, she survived. Look at me telling <laughs> 1860s Damon she's okay. Have you spoken to your uncle lately? I've been avoiding him, actually. That and I've been here most nights. So you'll be here again tonight? Oh. Is that a problem? Yes. You are a complete nuisance. <laughs> I'll see you later. Well, why would you want to go to high school with blows? Do I really need to answer that? <laughs> oh, look at her. She's really falling for him, isn't she? The human blood should be gone by now. You want to explain why you're still in here feeling sorry for yourself? I think he realizes on, that he's done something wrong. Yeah. Isabella was John, whatever, we knew that. Right, well, after that, he started getting calls from a new number, and I had my friend run a geo track. Got the address. It's, it's an apartment in Grove Hill. So you kind of what? Type of animal blood that he prefers. Ooh, gross. Oh, it's animal blood. Pain doesn't help. Puppy blood. Great. Don't go on a trigger puppies. Keep flappy ears. I will slap That's you, Damon. Scary. What do you think your mother would say if she knew you were dating a vampire? Which mother? Woo! Woo Let's go, Elena. <laughs> oh, that was that was top notch. He thought he was protecting us, Damon. He thought he was protecting his town. Sun hurts my eyes. Uh oh, oh. It's part of it. Emily says it's our bodies pushing us to feed. To complete the transition. This is all to be with Catherine. She's gone. Damon says you need to drink that. Can't survive that. I, I don't want to survive. After what I've done, it has to end. He's I just want it over. Seem to be in a lot of pain. Yeah, well, that will pass too once he eats. I didn't mean physical pain. I know what you meant. Just stay up here. You can be down there by yourself. I'll be fine. Very trusting of him, given the circumstances. So are you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be leaving. Ooh, Elena! <laughs> damn, damn, that is some good writing. So Damon tells me that you're looking for the device I took from Jonathan. That's why I wanted to meet you. I'm planning on changing your mind. Really? How so? With my Gilbert charm. Uh-oh. 
I know that you have a weakness for it. May I buy you a drink? No! You are a creep and we don't need you. So, and now my Uncle John wants this invention device thing that she gave to Damon. That's pretty much it. Whoa. Your Uncle John wants his bed. Oh, you don't know that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's exactly yes, what he do. wants. I'm third reading in this. Oh, hello. Uh, Rick? We have company. <laughs> what is Rick having? Boys, it's enough. My sons. They will be remembered as the innocent victims of the Battle of Willow Creek. Not for their shame. So be it, Mr. Salvador. Wow, damn. I could be at those bars in a flash and you'd be dead. Yeah, you could, but you won't. Stefan. I said get out! No. Wow, Elena, I really like this <laughs> feisty new character. You are like unnecessarily trying to make her leave nothing will work she's just going to stay with you right or die how do you know john gilbert oh i've known him for years he's a good friend his two boys they want revenge what does john want with them he's just keeping an eye on them you know trying to make sure they stay out of trouble well that's john it's just such a do-gooder why should i let you have the device because i can help you i'm connected around here town council's eating out of my hand I do whatever I say. Yes, he wrote about you. You were his one regret. You were the only woman he ever loved. Jonathan Gilbert hated you. His only regret was that he didn't drive a stake through your heart himself. Oh my god. You know what this guy is? I give it to Damon. May you rot in hell. Woo! Actually, Miss Pearl, applause for that. You have to feed in order to complete the transition. I know that. You're lying, you fed on your dad? I pulled the trigger myself. Holy shit, dude! You killed your own sons? You were both dead to me the moment you sided with the vampires. I haven't turned yet. I don't want to. I'm going to let myself die, Father. Please. <gasps> oh, shit. Don't tell me you fed on your dad. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I need to hear them. By the way, I love your tattoo. I'm just noticing it now. <laughs> yeah. Going on? 146. I figured 200 marks probably a good stopping point. <laughs> probably should have known there's something different about her. I'm tied to Catherine. Trying to be some reason I didn't kill her. You two are so similar in that aspect. If only Damon had that willpower to say, yeah, I'm done with Catherine. I was wrong to think that we could make a home here. It's time for us to move on. Oh. But I don't want to move on. I want to stay. We can't stay. There's too many people here who know the truth. Too much history. This is about Jeremy. No, it's about me finally getting to build a life for myself. But he's got a lot of guilt that he has to deal with. It doesn't help that you spent the last 145 years punishing him for Catherine getting caught. And all this important soul searching and cleansing of the demons of Stefan's past, did you ever manage to get the rest of the story? Tell me. I didn't know my own strength. There was blood everywhere. He was dying and the blood was too strong. I needed it. My body is exploding with power, Damon. No. I can hear things from far away. You don't have to feel that pain anymore. I don't want it. That's why he won't feed now. I understand why. His choice. Oh god, he's going to die. He's gone on a mission to die. Fab. Genius idea, Stefan. Honestly. I love you. Who wakes up it's thinking okay. that they're alone and then sees their Go girlfriend and halfway. That would freak the hell out of me. <laughs> it is a whole new world. We can explore it together. I will make it an eternity of misery. For you. Ooh. Catherine saved my life once. I owed her. But that doesn't mean I'd wish her curse on anyone. Because even in death, your heart is pure, Stefan. That will be your curse. Oh, oh. I should have died that night. Just like I had chosen. Every single life that's been lost is because of me. The night that my parents died, I blew off family night so that I could go to some party. I ended up getting stranded and they had to come pick me up. That's why we ended up in the car at Wickery Bridge, and that's why they died. Our actions are what set things in motion. 
it hurts me knowing what I've done. And that pain, that pain is with me all the time. And every day I think that if I just, if I just give myself over to the blood, I can make that pain stop. Or you could take this ring and put it on and keep fighting. Mom, this is a powerful scene. It's your choice. Wow, he sees being given another cho a second chance at a choice. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. I don't like where this is going. Holy shit. What? Are we going to talk about that? You're back on Bambi Blood, and I'm the big badass brother again. All's right in the world. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. All my actions, what I do, it's not your fault. I own them. They belong to me. You were not allowed to feel my guilt. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you to know. Because I hated you and I still do. I think it's, I it's his not psychotic way of saying I love you. <laughs> and why? Because she turned you. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be me, Stefan. Just me. Wake up! You have to wake up! Hello, Rick. Hello, Rick. Who's your brother? Whoa, whoa! He didn't seem so surprised. Okay, a lot happened. For starters, Anna and Harper. Anna. Um, Paul and Harper are dead. I genuinely thought that Harper would at least survive because I really liked that character. I really wish we saw more of it, but he also died. And now Anna walked into it. And now that John Gilbert, honestly, it just pisses me off because I know the character is written to irritate you, but it's really irritating. <laughs> and in the start, like, you know, it's because of um, Pearl that, you know, I feel in a way that Grams died and that tomb and whatnot. So I even blame her, but this pisses me off more that she died now. Because we have this entire theme going on of like diabolical plan to take Mystic Falls. And then she decides, actually, you know what? There are a lot of people who know about us. It's not going to work. And she had that, you know, choice ultimatum where she made that choice saying that I'm going to leave. I'm going to like you have a sort of fresh start and not be in Mystic Falls. And then she didn't even get to do that. And now Anna has to witness her dead again. Not dead, but taken away again for the second time and i can't imagine the grief that she'd be having but it's it's you know it's funny how the human mind works at first anna was a bad person and now we got so acquainted with the character i feel bad for her now like that is so bizarre like i just don't know how but that that just goes to show the story writing is like spot on but in terms of everything where now how it's going to work out with Anna. I feel like uh, because Jonathan Gilbert is, uh, sorry, not Jonathan, John is um, Jeremy's uncle. I hope she doesn't show that anger towards Jeremy at all. See, this is where I was like, I feel like Anna might be killed as well in this season. I just feel that because I have I don't see the reason for her to continue on living just because Jeremy is there. Because as she said earlier that uh, Jeremy is not one of the humans that she would like love to have to spend an eternity with. Like she, he doesn't tick off that box for one of the reasons to turn him into a vampire. So I'm pretty sure they're getting to that stage. But right now, I don't know. I don't think that she might make it to season two. That's just my theory. Um, and then now we have Isabel back. Rick doesn't seem so surprised, but I think that word got around that people are trying to find her specific, specifically, specifically <laughs> um, Rick. And what a entry, because the next episode is Isabel, the title. And yeah, I'm just I'm just so curious now to know what's going to happen. But in all in all, I really love the Stefan and Elena confrontation and that ending scene really good and i love the fact that they also parallelly showed why stefan is hurting now because of the actions of 1864 where he had a choice to choose to die rather than continue on being transitioned to a vampire and emily rightfully said that you know you have a very good heart like 
that is going to be your curse in the long run being a vampire because it's going to take over your emotions and you're just going to hurt people more and that's not you and but it's going to prove that being a vampire is just going to be a curse ultimately because of your good heart i really like that symbolism in that end and of course the way where elena um uh, put you know draws on her th like her own personal experience with of course the wickery bridge bridge and her uh, parents uh, adopted parents incident all of that i really loved that scene it was very powerful and i feel that they should do more of those to really get the story going but it really did uh put a lot of depth into how stefan and damon um transition to vampires in fact it was stefan who was you could say the bad brother all along and damon was the one trying to say no don't do this and then he got you could say he got dragged into it and now it's just like it's affecting him in that way as well like that's why he says that i own up to my own guilt like you have no right to feel the guilt that i go through and i i love that like you know because you know that's the reason one of the reasons why he hates um stefan because he made him do that like he made him transition first to a vampire and of course catherine so, like you know catherine um how do you say uh promised that it would only be damon and not stefan but stefan was the first one to get become a vampire and now because he's a vampire and he at the time thought that catherine is dead he just seems no purpose to continue on an eternity so i like there's so much going on but i really love that i love the the, the storytelling in these last couple of episodes but i'm very excited to continue on episode 21 and i can't believe uh, pearl is gone harper is gone and john gilbert has to go very soon but yeah i'm pretty sure uh ending i think finale 22 or yeah 22 it's gonna be a proper battle or a duel between the vampires and john gilbert but yeah um thanks so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed the reaction if you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to do so i appreciate all your support and if you're going out please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family until then guys i'll see you in episode 21 hope you all have been having a great day and have a great weekend as well bye everyone